up guys? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in to week three of our Tabata workouts. So guys, um, for those of you who are maybe joining me for the first time today, um, I am seven months pregnant now. Oh my gosh, three months to go. So as you'll see in the video, I am gonna be doing some modifications for myself. You can feel free to modify as you need as well or keep it as high as you'd like. Now for today's HIIT workout, it's gonna be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, just like what we've been doing. And as promised, as little to no equipment as possible used. Because again, I know that uh, working from home is a little bit more challenging if you don't have equipment. So uh, with that being said, if you do have equipment, you are more than welcome to use it. We are gonna be doing some bicep curls today. Um, so you can grab your weights and go ahead and, and use those. If you don't, what we're gonna be using is a chair today. So we're gonna be using the chair and this is for this goes for everybody in general. Uh, even if you do have weights, we are gonna be using a chair today. You don't want it to be a super clunky chair, so something that you can pick up. If you feel like you don't have a chair at home that's um, uh, light enough for that, if you feel like your chair is maybe too heavy, maybe grabbing a stool, or um, again, just to modify, you can use water bottles. We are gonna be using the chair as a marking point as well for height, so maybe um, using your chair for that option, and then for bicep curls, you can be using your water bottles or um, laundry detergent or whatever else, okay? Uh, with that being said, pretty much that's all you're gonna need at a mat. Uh, if you don't have a mat, again, you can use a towel on the floor, maybe you're on a carpet, you might not even need a mat, um, and a water bottle, of course. And as always, take your breaks as you need. You guys know you can pause this video at any point, so even though the workout is gonna be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight rounds, and then you get a minute break, if you feel like you need to take a longer break, that's completely fine. Listen to your body. And again, full workout like the last two weeks, we're gonna have the warm up, workout, and cool down and stretch. We're gonna try to get it all in, in less than 30 minutes. I know this video is a little bit longer because of the explanations, but the workout itself is around 25 to 30 minutes. So with that being said, I will see you guys at the end of the video. Have fun! What's up guys? Let's get ready to do our third week of Tabata. So with that being said, we're going to get into our little warm up here. You want to just step touch it out. Again, we just want to get the blood pumping, get the body rocking and rolling for today's workout. Again, it's going to be a 30 minute workout. It's going to be real quick guys. You don't need a lot of space for this. You don't need a lot of equipment. It's going to be easy breezy. Okay, by the, by the time you realize that your body's been working hard, the workout's gonna be done. So we're gonna roll those shoulders back here, just following along with what I'm doing here. Good stuff, I'm gonna make sure we warm up that upper body. Quick reminder for everyone to curl those legs back. Um, just to take your water breaks when you need, of course, keep your intensity as high or as low as you'd like. Um, if you are pregnant, of course, taking care of yourself a little extra as well. So um, doing what you think is best for you. And if you haven't checked with the doctor, make sure you check with the doctor before you get into exercising um, this type of uh, format. So we're gonna get those knees up, keep those arms going. Head stuff, keep it going. Awesome, awesome. And let's do a little bit of ankle reaches here, just opening up those hips a little bit. Good. Just loosening up that body. Monday fun day. Good stuff. And let's reach those ankles on the outside of the leg here. Very good. Five, four, three, two, and one. And let's curl it back one more time. Just crossing opposite hand to opposite leg here. Really wanna make sure Blood's pumping, the body's rocking. So keep it going. Awesome. Shake it off a little bit. Let's do a couple of squats here. Nice and light. Seven more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome. Let's keep those arms going. You can do heel jacks just like this or you can do a full jumping jack, okay? So it's up to you. I'm just gonna count to 30 here. So keep going. Good. 20 more reps here. Four, three, two, one. 
awesome. And going into a couple of kicks here. Warming up those hamstrings and glutes a little more. Good. 10. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Shaking it off. Let's bring those hands up, soft knees. Twisting side to side here. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. And last one, just rolling the neck out. Good. And half circles back if you'd like. Back to center, reach it up, shake it off, and grabbing your equipment. So again, guys, quick reminder, you're gonna need a mat, a chair, and a water bottle. That's it for today. So I'll see you in a few seconds. We're gonna get right into the workout. All right, guys, I hope you are ready to go. So as you can see, I'm using a smaller chair than the chairs you guys usually see me using in my workout. Doesn't matter. Um, what we're gonna use the chair for for the first exercise is actually um, just as a marking point. So even if you wanna go without the chair, it's completely fine. All you're gonna do is kick over the chair and squat down. Kick over the chair and squat down. So every um, time you switch sides, okay? So we're gonna go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Remember going as fast as you can. Um, and just, um, if you're uh, not sure about how your stable your chair is, I would recommend putting it on your mat if you have a mat so that everything is equally distributed so no slipping or sliding, okay? So with that being said, let me get the timer on. Three, two, one, and start. Here we go, we're going for our first round here. Might need to adjust how far you're standing from that chair. Making sure as we're um, rotating, we're rotating outwards. If you've started rotating inwards, that's okay. Next round, you can always alternate it. Three more seconds, guys. Two and time. Awesome. 10 second break, and we're gonna do that seven more times. So here it comes. In five, four, three, two, and go. Rotate and squat. Again, taking your time but at the same time, trying to go as fast as you can. So taking your time with form is always key in Tabata, form over speed. But again, we wanna keep the movement simple so that we can go as fast as we can. Shake it off, take a little break. Going into our third round here. So shake it off, water at any point you need. Three, two, one, and over, and over. Keep it going, try to keep that flat back, pushing through the whole foot, not just the heels, not just the toes here. We got it, guys. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, and time. Shake it off. Woo. It is getting warm. So keep moving. Woo. Here it comes, three, two, one, and start. Go. Now, as we get tired, I know. The body's gonna to wanna to try to put the hands on the legs to push yourself off. You wanna try not to do that. Keep the hands off the thighs. You need to put them somewhere, put them on your hips so that you're not giving yourself that little uh, cheating of a help. And take it down, shake it off. You're halfway through. So I hope you guys are starting to feel those legs. Getting that heart rate up. Three, two, one. And go. And go. Boom. Awesome stuff, guys. Squatting down as low as you can. Whew. Breathing through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Got it going. You're almost there. And time. Yes. Three rounds left. And you get a whole minute break, guys. It's going to feel so good. So get ready here. Three, two, one. Go. Boom. Whew. It is getting hot already. But the body is craving it, loving it. Especially for those of you guys who are watching this and time. Living in the GTA, right? We've shut down again another 28 days. So we want to make sure go. we get these workouts in. Even if there's no gyms available, want to keep moving, staying strong physically 
and this is gonna help us get through this pandemic mentally as well, right? So staying strong, guys. We're almost there, and time. Okay, guys, we have one last set, and then we're gonna go into another uh, leg workout right after this. Three, two, one, and last set here. Boom. Boom. Yep. Breathing, breathing. Woo. Hot, hot, hot. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. That was awesome. So we have a one minute break here. And I'm going to show you guys the next move. So just a quick note, if you want to do this, without the chair, 100%, you can feel free to do that. What it's gonna do, what we're gonna do is just gonna be doing um, single leg lunges. I'm just going up and down, okay? Option, if you wanna use the chair, you're just gonna lift that one leg up onto the chair, and we're gonna be doing the same thing, a lunge here, okay? So making sure you're staying safe, maybe you need to hold onto the wall for a little bit of balance, that's completely fine. You can alternate for each round, so switching legs, or you can do all four rounds on one side and then switch over to the other side. Totally up to you, remember this is your workout. I'm gonna stay on the same leg for all four rounds before I switch. I'm starting off with my weaker side, which is my left side. Um, so the left side is going to be the leg that's on the floor here, okay? Let's set it up, three, two, one and go, 20 seconds. So as we're doing this move, you're using all the muscles through the foot, pushing up like a string is holding you up, you wanna keep the chest out, shoulders back, back leg is getting a lot of additional work here because you're up on that chair, really hitting that glute, and time. 10 second break, we're gonna repeat it three more times on this side. Again, feel free to switch legs if you want to. Send that leg up and Go. Now again, you can use the wall for a little bit of balance at any point. Good stuff. Focusing on one spot in front of you and one spot on the floor to help you with that balance as well. And picturing like that string is pulling you up. Woo, leg is on fire. Take it down. Little break here, 10 seconds. And we've got two more times on this side. So here it goes. Set it up. Three, two, one, and work it. Yep, so as you're doing your lunge, you might need to adjust a little bit because you want to make sure your knee in the front here is not passing the toe. Again, I know this is very comfortable. You want to keep the hands at the hips or just keep those hands moving. Woo, and time. Yes, one more on this side. Here it comes. In five, in four, three, two, and work it. Very good. Taking it down as low as you can. So again, with my belly, I'm not taking it down as low as I would normally go, but you can feel free to go down as low as you possibly can. You're almost there. Three, two, one, and time. Shake it off. Good job, guys. We're gonna switch over to the other leg here. If you've been switching legs, just keep at that. Three, two, one, and go. Woohoo! Does require a lot more balance when you're pregnant. That center of gravity changes quite a lot from week to week. Ten seconds. Oh yeah. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it off. Three more rounds. I know those legs are on fire, guys. I feel you. Trust me. There it goes, and taking it down. Boom. Good stuff. Think about how amazing you are gonna feel when you're done this workout. It's gonna feel so nice. Oh yes. Five, four, three, two, and time. Woo, shake it off. Awesome stuff, guys. Let's push through. I know you got it in you. Three, two, one, and go. Go. As low as you can with that posture, that string pulling you up with that form. Yep. 
Keep going. Almost. Six, five, four, three, two, and time. Woo! One more than thank goodness. We're going into upper body. Yee-hoo! Here it comes. Three, two, one. And go. And go. Yep. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. This is the last time. I'm going to give those legs a little bit of a break. Oh, yes. Might even feel it in those quads as well. Three, two, one. And time. Wow, shake it off, guys. That's amazing. Water if you need. And we're going to add on for some upper body. So I'm just going to move my chair to the side here. We're going to go into push-ups. Yes, our favorite. For those of you who come to my classes, we didn't get a chance to do push-ups last week before the shutdown. So I'm going to add them in to my videos here. So again, I'm going to be modifying by doing a box push-up. As you can see here, I'm in a box position, coming down, pressing up. But you are more than welcome to go into a half where you're on your knees. Hips are slightly pushed forward, down and up. Or you can feel free to do a full, okay? Remembering that full range of motion as much as you can, okay? So it's not about the level, it's about that range of motion. That's where you're gonna strengthen your chest, strengthen your arms, strengthen that upper body. So get ready here, guys. Three, two, one, and go. Push-ups for 20 seconds. I want you to think about all the muscles in your chest working. Breathe out as you push up. Keep your core engaged. Ideally, if you're doing this as a half push-up or a full and time, you want to keep your legs uncrossed. So a lot of the time people want to cross their legs. Try to keep those legs uncrossed. Three, two, one, and again, go. You also want to spread out your fingers. Use that whole palm to push through as you're doing these push-ups. You've got 10 seconds, guys. Breathe in, exhale on the way up. Breathe in, exhale on the way up. You're almost there. Three, two, one, and time. I'm just going to move this timer a little bit lower, so not as distracted looking up. Whew. Here it comes. Three, two, one, and push-ups. Go. Breathe in. Exhaling on the way up. Get me down as low as you can. Now, as you can see in the box push-up, um, the range of motion does get a little bit smaller, and that's okay. Um, just because of the positioning, it's not very natural. And time to take it down, chest to the floor when you're in a box position. So do what you can, guys. You're almost halfway through. Ready and work it. Good. Boom. Try to keep those elbows, shoulders, and wrists nicely aligned. Try not to have your elbows flaring out here, anything like that. They don't have to come in all the way either because we're not doing a tricep push-up here because we're going to be hitting those triceps in a bit and time. Guys, we're halfway through. We have four rounds of this left. I am definitely feeling this in my arms. So set it up. Three, two, one, and work. Boom. Okay, so again, we're not doing a tricep push-up here. Um, don't worry about um, those triceps working because they're already helping anyway. But we don't want to tire them out completely. We've got a tricep exercise coming up in just a bit. And time. Of course, when it comes to Tabata, I always like to get the larger muscle groups in first so that we don't burn out as quick. Three, two, one, and go. So again, if we hit those triceps first, those arms would be really tired and we probably wouldn't be able to get through the push-ups at the same level of intensity and speed and form as we are able to do them now and time. Oh my gosh, I am on fire. I hope you guys are too. Whew, it is harder with the extra weight here on this belly. Three, two, one, and go. Boom. Keep it going again. Just a quick reminder. Try to keep your, your legs uncrossed if you're doing that half push-up or a full one. Try to keep your feet together or hip width apart. 
So you don't want to cross those legs. Woo! And time. Wow. Okay, we have one final round and then get another minute off. So set yourself up, catch your breath. Pretend like we just started first round here. And go. Push it. Breathe in, exhale up. Breathe in, exhale up. Every rep, you are that much stronger, that much closer to your goals, physical goals, mental goals. We're there. Three, two, one, and time. Woo. Holy moly. Let's reset that timer for a minute. You guys have a minute break, so again, feel free to grab that water. If you need a little bit of a longer break, you know you can pause this video at any point. Okay, from here, we're gonna go back to upper, uh, sorry, to lower body. So I'm gonna grab my chair again, and again, you wanna make sure it's stable so that it's not gonna slide anywhere, okay? This is very important, so even if you need to push it against a wall and go uh, sideways this way, um, safety first as always. So we're gonna be doing hip hikes. The option for this, if you don't wanna use the chair, is of course, right here, option like this, or one leg like this, okay? So today we're just gonna add a little bit more height. We're here, and we're pushing up even higher, really getting those hamstrings. Okay guys, it's gonna burn, but that's why we're here. So setting up that timer, three, two, one, and work it. Lift as high as you can and lower. So when you're on the chair, um, with your feet, you can keep digging your heels into that chair. You don't have to be flat foot, okay? Depending on the height of your chair. Again, if you're not comfortable at any point, you can just take it down to the floor. And time. Take a little break here. Hopefully you're feeling it. You can keep those hands on the floor. You can keep them crossed over your chest. It's up to you guys. Ready? And lift. Squeeze those glutes, guys. Lift. And lower. Breathe out, breathe in. Woohoo! Keep it going. Baby's gonna like this one. <laughs> like a little roller coaster for them. And three, two, one, and time. Ooh, saw that slip, so you gotta be really careful to make sure that you got that stability here. Three, two, one, and lift and lower. Really digging your heels into that chair. Yeah. Loving it. Ay, ay, ay. 10 more seconds and then you've got four more rounds. Woo! You got it. Three, two, one. And time. I just want to rest my legs here for a second. Woo! Guys, we're killing it though. That lower body is going to be feeling so good at the end. Ready? And drive it up again. Drive it up. This time, remember those lunges we did where that string was attached to your, the top of your head. Now I want you to picture that those strings, there's two strings attached to your hips, pulling you up. Going as high as you can. Three, two, one, and time again. Depending on where you are uh, in your fitness journey, everyone's gonna be a little higher, a little lower. Um, for me as well, probably not coming up as high as I typically do. Ready? And go. Um, because of the additional weight here, but as long as it's your personal best. And again, you can take those breaks. Try to go through that full range of motion here. Holy moly, hamstrings are burning. Big time, and time. Whew, chair is still sliding. It's okay. Get ready here. Three, two, one, and lift. And lift. Whew. Yep. Pushing through some people even feel this in their calves, and that's okay. Getting all the different muscles to work. Sometimes when the hamstrings and glutes are a little bit tired, other muscles and time want to help out, right? And that's totally fine. It's okay, get them to work. Add a little bit of bonus. Here it comes, three, two, one, and lift. Whew. We're almost there, we have just 40 seconds of craziness like this. You got a 10 second break in between. So easy games here. Making those changes. Five seconds. 
four, three, two, and time. Woo, last one. Oh man, the time is flying quick, guys. See, we're almost done this half hour. Three, two, one, and lift, and drop, and lift, and drop. Yep, we got this. Push through, push through. Woo 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and time. My goodness. Let's set that time for a break here. And we're gonna shake it off a little bit. Woo, so bring yourself up. Again, I'm gonna be using the chair for this. We're gonna be doing some tricep dips, which is gonna be a little bit intense, um, but we're only gonna go for four rounds. We're gonna go for four rounds, and then we're gonna use our chair for biceps. So for the biceps, you're just gonna hold your chair here, curl it up, and take it down. Having that full range of motion, okay? For triceps, you're at the edge of your seat here, and we're bending and extending, just like that. The further away you are with your legs from your chair, the um, harder it's going to be. Okay, so adjust as you need. Let's start off with the triceps first, so that we can get that out of the way. So here it comes, set yourself up, three, two, one, and go. So you're at the edge of your chair, bending and extending, bending and extending, boom. You wanna make sure it's not just the bum moving up and down, you're actually bending and extending from both elbows. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Take a little break. I actually might need to pull this over. My hands are slipping quite a bit. Let's see if this helps. Three, two, one, and go. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. So again, maybe using a paper towel if your hands are slipping or folding your mat over, depending on the type of chair you have. Whew. Working those triceps. Five seconds, four, three, two, and time. Wow, shake it off. Whew. It is good though. I hope you guys are loving it as much as I am. Two more rounds of this. Get ready, three, two, one, and go, and go. Again, you need to take a break. That's okay, take a break. Getting back into it when you need to, okay? Here it comes. Yep. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and time. Ooh. Ah, my triceps are hating me right now, but I know they're gonna love this later. Last set. Ready and go. Boom. 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 Breathe. Take a break if you need. Shake it out if you need. It's all good. Ooh. We got ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and time. Awesome. 10 seconds. Let's take it up quickly. Holding that chair. We're gonna go into those bicep curls here. Get ready. Soft knees. Squeezing your glutes. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now, you might find that one side of your chair feels a little bit heavier, and that's okay what we're gonna do is on this third round, we're just gonna flip the chair and time. Take it down and hold it the reverse way. So you have balance on the each side. Get ready here, three, two, one, and go. And try to get that full range of motion. Curl it up, take it down, shoulders back, staying tall, up. Boom, five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, so quickly, we have 10 seconds. We're just gonna flip your chair to face the other way so that we can distribute that weight evenly. Okay, guys, ready, and go. Curl it, and curl. Yep, soft knees, keep it moving. We got 10 seconds, Ooh, biceps are feeling this. Five, four, three, two, and time. 
two, sorry, one more round. Wow, we're there. See, it's so much faster when you're doing two alternate exercises. <laughs> Three, two, one, and go. Boom. And up. Yep. And up again. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. The harder part of the exercise is where you want to be exhaling. Four, three, two, and time. Oh man, putting that chair down. Take a little break here. Let's start that timer again. Here it goes. One minute break. We're gonna go back into the lower body here. So I'm gonna use the chair as a marking point. If you feel comfortable, you can 100% do this without the chair. Let me demonstrate. We're going to be doing single leg deadlifts here. So chest out, shoulders back. I'm just going to be reaching down as far as I can go. And then taking it up with a flat back. Okay, option. You can also take that foot off the floor. Okay, or for today, I'm going to be using my chair. So I'm going to be using my chair as a marking point. Down and up. The leg that I'm standing on and making sure to keep that knee soft so you don't want to be locking that joint out, okay? You can keep alternating from side to side or you can do one side for four rounds and then burn it out on the other side for four rounds. I'm going to do one side for four rounds. So three, two, one, and start. Here we go. Good. You can focus on, on your chair. Focus on a spot on the floor. Very good. We're using all the muscles in our feet here. Balance, make sure you're keeping your hips nice and aligned. Three, two, one, and time. Shake it out if you need. Here's another option again if you're finding that your hips are turning out a little bit like this. You can keep that toe on the floor, ready, and down and up. You're still gonna feel that amazing work coming from those hamstrings and glutes. Just a quick reminder, also, when you're doing this, as you come up, you're really squeezing those glutes at the top, guys. Coming up nice and tall with proper posture. Boom, you're almost there. And time. That's two rounds on this leg, so hopefully you're really feeling the back of that leg. Here it comes. Five, four, three, two, and go. Reaching down and coming up. Or again, keeping that foot on the floor. I'm finding that today, keeping that foot on the floor, I'm actually getting more out of this workout because I'm getting tired quite fast. So it's easier to keep that balance and time. And I'm noticing that if I lift that leg, the, um, the form just isn't there. I'm not feeling as much as that in that hamstring and glute. Okay, last time on this side and go. Boom. Ooh. Keep it going. Awesome stuff, guys. Almost there. And time. Made a little bit of a mistake here, guys. We should have been switching legs already. That's okay, we're gonna do the other side for four rounds as well here. I think I changed it up a little bit. I think we did. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna be switching over to the other side. Here it comes, three, two, one, and start. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Again, notice that leg. My leg is pretty straight, but I'm keeping my knee soft here. So I'm not locking. This is locked, right? This is soft. Down and up. Like you're just bowing, right? We're bowing forward, hinging from those hips. Three, two, one, and time. Shake it off. Three rounds left, guys. Woo. Here it goes. Three, two, one, and go. Boom. Taking it down. Again, you can even uh, bring your feet hip width apart or even a tiny little bit more if you need that additional balance. If you feel a little bit out of balance today, keep it going. Squeeze that glute. Boom. Squeeze that glute and time. Yes. Shake it off. Here it goes. Three, two, one, and down. Second last round here. Yep. Keep it going. Knee forward, or you can take it down as low as you want. Okay? But again, if you're taking it down all the way, you want to make sure you're still maintaining that flat back. Okay? 
Okay, so you're almost there. And time. Last one. Guys, this is our last one. And then we're gonna stretch it out. We're almost there. We're at the finish line. Five, four, three, two, one, and taking it down. Last time for today, guys. Push through. And squeeze that glute. Boom. Squeeze that glute. Yes. Go. Breathe in, exhale up. Five, four, three, two, and time. Awesome. Shake out those legs, guys. Take another minute break here. And when we meet back, we're gonna go into our cool down. That's a wrap. stretch out a little bit in the chest here. So we're just going to bring our arm back slightly, hold it here and look away. So not only with a shoulder stretch, maybe the forearm and a little bit in the chest here. Holding for eight. And let's bring it back to the center, over to the other side, pushing it away, looking in the opposite direction. shoulders back a couple of times here. Opposite direction. And 
back to center and we're going to turn our heads side to side. Okay, we're going to look up and down. And take it back to center. Take a nice deep breath out. Give yourself a high five at the top. Give yourself a hug. You guys, we did it. Awesome stuff. Another day, another workout. Feel free to try out some of the other workouts that I've posted in the previous weeks throughout the week. And I'll see you guys next week for round four. Ciao, ciao. Guys, 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 I hope you enjoyed today's workout. I had a lot of fun. As you guys see, <laughs> it's getting a little bit more challenging for me as we go through the months. So next week is going to be the final Tabata workout. And then I'm actually gonna be switching over to some weighted exercises with dumbbells. I'm super excited to share with you guys. I finally got a really awesome set of weights. So um, if you guys have weights at home, you're gonna love the next couple of series that I'm gonna be posting next week. Again, like I said, the last Tabata. So if you guys have questions, comments, suggestions, let me know if you wanna see more Tabata, feel free to message me that as well and I can uh, most definitely keep this um, series going. Um, with that being said, I think that's it. So enjoy your week, guys, and I'll see you guys next week. Ciao, ciao.